Hello! I have no idea what the heck that was. Um, I just, I don't know why I like doing my videos like that. I'm a weird person. So today, let me just see, okay, so today we will be doing, um, the X, okay. We will be learning the X while conquering how to find an XY coordinate on a Cartesian graph. So what a Cartesian graph is, is basically X and Y, X and Y planes, that's what it is, and it's basically best based on X and Ys. No theta, wait, no R cosine theta, that is calculus two. We're gonna focus on algebra today, which just, to make it simple, I'm gonna say X and Y graph, so that way you don't get confused with Cartesian, this, that. Okay, we're gonna, we're just gonna focus on X and Y graphs today, graphs today. So, I have two examples here, and one more thing, uh, don't do, the Charlie Charlie challenge because I tried it and now I have um, allergies and um, red marks on me so please don't do it. I've tried the Kylie Jenner challenge didn't you know obviously it doesn't work. Now I tried to do the Charlie Charlie challenge just a little bit. I just said his name once and um, yeah please don't do it because you know you're gonna get weird you're gonna get demons coming to your home. I don't think you want that and I don't think you want that. I think you want to like be pure with God and stuff. So let's not bring demons in because this is what happened. I got like red stuff all over me and it itches and it's not lipstick because I can't rub it off. Washed my hands. I washed this. I thought it was lipstick or marker. It's not lipstick or lip gloss. Or... You know what? I'm going to shut up because I want to help you conquer it. So anyway, as you can see, we got these two examples here. So I'm gonna let you know that this is the color. So y here, this part here is all y values. Remember that any anything that was anything vertical here is y values. All of this is y values, and all of this horizontally is all x values. These are all x values and these are all y values so when your teacher asks you okay find the x y coordinate on a x and y graph you may be like how well here's the thing here's what you do so here you've got the positive numbers and the negative numbers so in our first example we have this dot here so we want to find x and y and that is our main goal is finding our x and y coordinate so since I just told you what is our x and what is our y. Our x for here would be 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is a plot. So this is in the middle of a graph. So this is this is like between, it's just like the middle of here. So it's kind of centered, I should say. And it's in the 1, 2, 3, third quadrant. You got quadrants here. So this is in the third quadrant. I forgot to say that. It's This, these, this is the first quadrant. This is the second quadrant. This is the third quadrant, and this is the fourth quadrant. This is in the third quadrant. Now, and that's a lot of math terms, I know, but these are quadrants. Just to let you know, don't freak out, they're just quadrants. So, here we got your x, and you got your y. So, here we have our x. So, our x and y for here. I'm just going to erase this, because I just put third down here. So, our third. So, we have x, or x and y. So our x for here be 1, 2, 1, negative 4, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, because it's up, negative 4, yeah, up negative 4, I should say. This is negative 4, because it's at sort of near, like it's sort of, our x for here is negative 4. And then our y would be like down negative 5, because it's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. And you see a point at negative 5 for y, and we see a point for negative for for x. So our, our point, our x and y coordinate here is just negative 4 and negative 5. Now let's try this one. Here this is first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. This one is placed in the first quadrant as you can tell. Let me use this purple. So here we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. Like I said, these are all our x's, and these are all our y's. So, we have our x and y. So now we're going to find our x and y coordinate, again. 
gonna say this here, what we're trying to find. And so our x for here would be one, two, three, four, because it's the point is a point is near like four, so we'll put four. And then our x is one, two, three, it's four as well. So that is basically your x and y coordinate for these two examples. I hope now you've conquered this subject today. In cap, you know, not calculus, in algebra, and a pencil, uh, my pen, my marker, just drop from the floor, and I don't care. So anyway, I have conquered this now, and don't do the Charlie Charlie challenge. Because you'll have this, and then I see a lot of people on Instagram have like, I don't know, like scratches on their skin, and it freaks me out. So it's so weird. I had a hair tie here. It's gone. Okay, maybe you know what? Maybe I'll find it. Where things have been happening around this around me ever since I did it. So anyway, I'm going to go now. So bye.